this is Lynn with Paper Life, and I wanted to give you a flip through of my vintage spring journal that is finally done. <laughs> this has been a work of love, we'll say. I've just really enjoyed it. And these are only a few of the pages, honestly, that are in the Vintage Spring Kits. And it is kind of a mix of both kits. And what I've done is just taken the pages from the Vintage Spring and I've sewn around them onto coffee stained paper. You could also just print them two sided if you wanted to. And I left the threads on because from my sewing because this is my personal journal and I like the threads. I do probably need to trim them down a little bit more, but I just went with what I like. On some of these I just printed them out in a different size because the journal cards that come with the kit, I'll show you one, are these larger ones and the reason behind that was so it fit in some of the larger pockets but I also then just turned around and printed them smaller. In this kit I included some of these mason jars and here kind of shows you why is that you can turn them into pockets or little tuck spots. If we haven't already come across it I did the same thing with one of the larger ones. There we go. So all I did was glue around it and now it becomes a nice big spot for journaling cards. And okay, I haven't put anything in there yet. Just a little money envelope that was in the kit. There are lots of journaling places in this kit, lots of lined graphic paper, some that are blank like this one. Here's another one of those mason jars. And I just tucked another little two pieces in there. I did a ribbon closure. 
And the front of this was also done with pieces of the ephemera from the kit. And here's the back. This paper right here was the inspiration for the whole kit. A friend of mine sent it to me and I wanted to make a kit to go with it because I was in love. All right, everybody. Thank you. I'll leave a link to the vintage spring kits if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching.